Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I am going to show you how to install WordPress on your local host using Jamf software in Windows 10 operating system. So stay tuned till the end. Now open a browser and search for Jamf. Open the first link here, apatifriends.org. Scroll down a bit and you will find the download options of the latest version for different operating system. Click on Jamf for Windows here. Well, it's being downloaded. If you want to download a previous version for any reason, then click on this download menu. And you will find different versions for each operating system. Alright, you can see it's already downloaded. Let's install this program. Well, we have got a warning message because of user account permission. It's a very common issue. Many of you will face the same problem. I can tell you. Let's fix it first. Just click on this search bar and type UAC. That means user account control. Now open this setting. Move down this bar to never notify. You can always change this setting after the installation if you are not comfortable with. Anyways, now click on OK. Click Next. From here, you can customize your component to install. You need to select at least Apache, MySQL, and phpMyAdmin for the WordPress installation. But I am keeping it as default. Click on Next. From here, you can customize the installation location. For me, it's good as I have enough space in my C drive. Click on Next. Next, next, again next. Now it's being installed. Well, it may take few minutes, so guys, have some patience. Allow access if it is popped up in your screen too. Now you have nothing to do, just wait. Well, it's done. Just click on finish. Our jump installation is complete. To open this program, type jump here in the search bar and open the app. Well, this is our jump control panel. Now we start these two services here. As I told you, you need these two components Apache and MySQL to install WordPress. Make sure the color is changed into green. Otherwise, you have some problems in your jump installation. Now allow this pop-up and we are done with the jam configuration. Now we will create the WordPress database. To do it, you need to open a browser and type localhost slash dashboard. Make sure you haven't done any spelling mistakes. Here click on PHP MyAdmin. Now click on database. Give a database name and click on create. And we are done. Let's download the WordPress CMS now. Just search for download WordPress. Open this site, wordpress.org. Scroll down a little bit and click to download here. Well, now copy or cut this file and go to jump installation location. For me, it's in C drive. Then jump folder. Now open stdocs folder. And paste it. Extract the zip file here. And rename this folder. And we're done. Now let's install WordPress in our localhost. Open the browser. Type localhost slash the WordPress folder name that you have just given slash wp hyphen admin and press enter. Well, you can see the setup has been begun. Now select your site language and click to continue. Here you can see the information you need to complete this setup. Click on let's go. 
Here you need to give the database name that we have created in phpMyAdmin. Give the username as root. Keep it blank, the password section. And click on submit. Now run this installation. Well, this is the last step of this installation process. Give your website title here. Give a username to log in your website. Give a password and your email. Now click on install WordPress. Well, as you can see, WordPress has been installed successfully. Now we need to log in our site. Make sure your username and password are correct. And click on login. Well, this is our WordPress dashboard. Maybe some of you are seeing this for the first time. Well, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel as more WordPress videos are coming shortly. So stay tuned.